tastes like butter. Well, howdy, friends. I'm Brian Fleshig, a matter of Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back to another one of our product reviews, or kind of a product launch in this case. And today we're going to talk about the new Loon Apex line of tools. This is a much needed line of tools in the fly fishing industry. And th there's some stuff in the conventional world like this, but um, Loon <coughs> listened. Thank you, Loon. And they went to bat for those of us that like to fish for apex predators, pike, a muskie, uh, certain saltwater fish, uh, you know, toothy fish, big fish. And um, so thus the apex line of tools. It came out uh, here this fall, this past fall, fall of 2022. And uh, we're just getting around. We've been awful busy. We're just getting around to talking about it, but uh, it was certainly time and just wanted to make you aware of these products. So first we have the lip gripper. And the lip gripper is uh, a tool that um, many that fish for pike or muskie or, or bigger fish have seen before in the conventional world, but now it's available in fly shops that carry loon. And uh, this lip gripper is, uh, first of all, very lightweight. Uh, it's very easy to handle. It's, the handle is ergonomic. It's got a little finger hole or finger slot right here. So you get a really good grip on this thing. Um, <clears throat> and it locks in the resting position. So once you, for example, get this around the lip of the bottom lip of a fish, it'll lock in place on you, okay? So it's not gonna come flying off and, and fall into the water. But if it does fall into the water, it floats. Pretty cool. And it's got a little lanyard on here. You can put this around your, put this around your wrist, grab onto the lip of a fish and lift them out so you can do what you need to do, get the hook out, take a photograph, whatever you need to do. Um, but it's a really, really handy tool, especially for us around here uh, chasing pike and muskie, which we do a lot, but uh, this will be heading to the salt water with me. And then along those same lines is the hook remover. Really, really cool tool. Um, the, the hook remover is a, li a lightweight, first of all. It has a stainless steel body. It is spring loaded, okay? And it's <clears throat> super great for reaching into the mouth of a pike, a muskie, or a tarpon for that matter, or, or any toothy game fish, or if you get a hook uh, set really deep, I know that uh, Pat and Katie and a lot of uh, the folks around here, uh, Josh Trammell, are carrying this, uh, even for smallmouth and largemouth fish. And if you get a hook down in there deep, you can reach in and grab onto that bend of that hook, push it, and pull it right out. So it's a super, super handy tool. Um, uh, also part of that Loon Apex Tools, uh, the hook remover. The needle nose. Everybody needs a long pair of needle nose, uh, similar to, to this. Some people prefer the pliers, but that allows you to do, I would certainly carry all three of them on my boat with me when I'm uh, musky fishing. Uh, we also use these in salt, of course, for barracuda. Uh, a lot of times they're known as barracuda pliers. So they're 11 and a half inches long. They have a 30, 70 serrated jaw, okay? Ergonomic handle shape. They fit in your hand really nice. And they have these, these non-slip ridges. And when, these, when this material here on the handle gets wet, it gets even grippier, okay? So it's not going to slip out of your hands. And there is a couple of holes drilled in there if you do want to add a lanyard. Um, so pretty handy tool right there in the needle nose from Loon. <clears throat> One of the favorites. Uh, these things have been uh, flying off the shelves here this fall, and for good reason. Um, these are the Apex HD pliers. And first of all, these are lightweight aluminum. They have replaceable cutters on them. And these cutters, trust me, they cut like butter. They'll cut braid, they cut backing, they cut uh, wire, monofilaments. And <clears throat> these uh, can be replaced if you need them to. If you wear them out, which is quite frankly unlikely, they can be replaced. They ha also have the ergonomic handle, fits in your hand really nice. You've got kind of a thumb spot here, a space for your index finger there, so you can really get a positive purchase on this. And <clears throat> it comes with this rubberized sheath 
and a um, swiveled tether. It's swiveled, which I had to practice saying that word, swiveled tether. So, and this will fit, it's got a belt clip on it, and this also can rotate. Okay, so if you, if you want to put this onto a strap on a bag or something, the belt clip actually rotates, which is pretty cool. It's uh, very well designed. These are, these are excellent, excellent pliers. I know it's been about five or six years since we've done a plier shootout. Um, due to have a beer or so, so maybe we'll do a, a plier shootout with uh, some of the pliers that are available now compared to when we did that. But I can tell you this is going to be a serious contender, and they do not cost three to four hundred dollars like some of the competitors. Okay, so you can hit the link down below me there and check out the Loon Apex HD pliers. And uh, they also made the Apex hook hone. It's just a super large hook cone for sharpening the big hooks, saltwater, pike, musky. Um, there's, it's sized for large flies. It has this grippy handle, which also gets tacky when it gets wet. And it's got two grits. Um, so you've got a, a heavier grit on one side, a finer grit on the other. So you can do your rough work and then fine tune on the other side. And then another really cool feature, it's got this, um, this line tensioning hole right inside there. And what you do, for those of you that work with heavy monofilament or wire, you know that you really want to reef on mono or wire when you're tying a knot. And it's best to reef on it for a few seconds. In fact, I think it's about nine seconds to get a knot to seat absolutely perfectly. And so what you can do is you put your hook through this hook cone and then that gives you kind of a bar that you can grab onto with your hands and really reef on that knot, okay? So that you, you, you get the best knot possible, which we all know is super important when you're fishing a uh, big game. Not exactly in the line, but they've got the, um, the Ergo boat shears. This is part of their scissor line, uh, but this is just a big, heavy duty, short bladed pair of scissors for doing heavy work that you might do on a boat. If you're trimming up a fly, um, this will cut um, some monos and wires. It's not, it's not as good as the pliers or, or um, the cutter on this one. Um, sorry, this doesn't have a cutter. It does not, so you can cut that out. Cut. They're not exactly the best for braid and stuff like that, but if you're trimming up flies and stuff and you just need to have a, a good heavy duty pair of scissors on the boat or in your boat bag, um, there you go, the Loon boat scissors. And not exactly part of the HD line, but these came out at the same time this past fall. And these are really, really super cool. This is the Loon trout pliers. And these, the best way to describe them is like, this is a combination of uh, a pair of nippers, a pair of hemostats, and a pair of pliers. Are seven and a half inches long, so they're a nice, comfortable size. They also have this grippy surface, which gets tacky when it gets wet. And <clears throat> compared to a lot of your other pliers, um, these are going to be more for, say, bass fishing, big game type stuff, but they're just too big for trout fishing, even for streamers, uh, but especially for dry flies and nymphs. Well, these will crimp barbs down to a size 22 hook, okay? They have these fairly fine uh, tips to them, and it has this, but they're still strong enough to crimp split shot. And then it does have a cutter on there, and that cutter will cut braid, and it will cut tippet down to 7x, which as you know, sometimes uh, that thin tippet can actually be tough to cut for some cutters, but it's an excellent, excellent cutter. They are spring-loaded, which makes it nice, and they also come with this rubber sheath and the swiveled tether. And it's the same sheath, uh, just a little bit smaller, as that comes in with the HD pliers. Uh, but that's the trout pliers. Uh, certainly, I, we, uh, we think an award-winning pair of pliers. Um, they have this mechanical advantage. They're not just your everyday pair of hemostats, okay? And you see the way these pliers are designed, that when you squeeze them, <clears throat> 
this is pushing this jaw together there, which just gives you great purchase. It crimps barbs just like butter. It smashes split shot just like hard butter. Um, can't say enough about the Loon trout pliers and also not outrageously expensive. They're a little more than your average hemostats, that's for sure, but they should be, uh, no question. So there you go. Thanks to our friends at Loon Outdoors. We love Loon products. They do a great job with all of their fly tying tools, all of their fly tying, um, you know, they have the epoxies and they have all kinds of nippers and gimmicks and gadgets that we sell all throughout the shop. But we were all excited to see this uh, Apex line of tools, much needed in the fly fishing industry, much needed here at Matter for Outfitters. And of course, you can check them out. The links are all below me. And of course, you can find them here at Mad River Outfitters. We appreciate your support. It's only through your support that we're able to keep making videos. So we appreciate any business you can slide our way. So check out the Loon Apex line of tools at Mad River Outfitters. As always, subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out. Hit the like button. That makes us feel good. And of course, stay tuned. We've got a lot more fly fishing content coming your way. And Oh yeah, make sure you watch that video there. That's one of my favorites. And this one down here, that's pretty good too. So thanks as always.